Hi everybody, how you doing? It's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday, everybody. We got some mail. We got some mail. Okay, first thing I got in the mail, I got this uh, top box. It's a Giorgio Armani perfume. Um... I'm compiling all the mail that I've gotten in the last couple of days because I haven't made a video. So, I like the way this smells. I do. It smells pretty. It smells really nice. I don't mind that, actually. Okay. I just did a video on the Celtic Caramel from Too Faced. So, I don't know which one of these is going to be up first, but I don't know. Whatever it is, it is. Also want to give a big shout out, Miss Kim, you sweetheart in Newfoundland. So, a while ago, I had posted, I think on our Facebook page, where I got in my Tribe Beauty box, I probably posted my video of unboxing it. And in that Tribe Beauty box, there was a peel-off mask, which I never used, because um, I just don't like peel-off masks. Like, they just really hurt me. They hurt me, because I'm a wimp. Anyway... So Miss Kim had mentioned that she got the Tri Beauty box, and, but she didn't get the peel-off mask. I guess it was sold out or something like that. And she really wanted to try it. So I said, hey, I got mine. I didn't use it. I'll just give it to you. Send me your address, right? So she sends me her address. I sent it out to her, you know, didn't think any more about it, right? Like I'm happy somebody else will use something. You know what I mean? So anyways, I get my mail and there's this envelope. And I'm like, okay, this feels like a palette, but I, I don't think I bought anything. Anyway, the note says, Lisa, thanks so much for your kindness. I'm sending the peel-off mask. Oh, sorry. Thanks so much for your kindness in sending the peel-off mask. Here is a little thank you. If it doesn't suit you, maybe you can use it in a giveaway. Um, she And she got it in a recent BoxyCharm box. Kim, you darling, thank you so much, sweetheart. So she sent me the Pure Festival palette. Now, I've tried two palettes from Pure. I tried one three years ago that Pure made specifically for BoxyCharm, and it was a load of crap. Okay, it was just crack, crappy, crappy. And then I tried um, the Raw Beauty Christie palette um, that she collabed with Pure a couple of months ago, and that was fabulous. And I've heard that people have said that Pure really, really, you know, picked up on their formula and the formula is so much better than when I tried it three years ago and that crappy palette that they made for BoxyCharm because it was just a dud. Anyway, um, so I can't wait to try this. And it's true, I think Pure really stepped up their game. I've been hearing a lot of, you know, bigger YouTubers talking about Pure products and implementing Pure products in their everyday look, um, their highlighters and stuff like that. So. This is what the palette looks like, and y'all know, y'all know how this is my jam. I'll use the black. This shade here is interesting. Um, I might even use this one, and you know I won't use that one. I just don't do blues, but this one here is interesting. Oh, it's one of those, like, shimmers. Oh, wait, it's, I actually thought it was going to be a lot more bumpier than it was, but that's, that's nice. It's like this greenish gray silver. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Coolio, thank you so much, Miss Kim. I'm definitely going to be trying this on an upcoming video. Because you know what? A lot of my upcoming videos are going to be me playing with makeup because I have no boxes coming. Nothing wants to come to me. I'm waiting on Lip Monthly. I'm waiting for my Naughty Knickers. I'm waiting for my... Boxy lock still. No tracking. I know some people got their tracking yesterday, but uh, yeah, I'm over here waving to Boxy Charm. Hello. Hello, Boxy Charm. I know you don't like me, but you can't take a girl's money and run, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you, Miss Kim. And what else did I get in the mail? Oh, I received this today from Top Box. Another freebie. Thank you very much. And it is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream, which is fabulous because I have the dry lizard skin. Oh, my skin. I don't know if you guys have dry skin, but uh, the last couple of weeks has been cold. It's been beautiful here this week in Toronto. But before then, it's been cold, and my dry skin starts on my back. 
my back gets really, really itchy, and then I get these dry patches all around my back and around my arms. My face gets really dry, and it's starting. Winter is here, girls. It's it's coming, okay? The dry skin is coming. So getting this was fabulous. I love Laniche. Um, and it's for normal to dry skin, which thank you very much, Lee. Appreciate freebies. We love the freebies, don't we? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I think I'm left waiting for is uh, Boxy Lux, Lip Monthly, and my Naughty Knickers. Right? And I don't think I'll be getting Boxy Charm next month. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I got to see the spoilers, and I... I gotta see what I'm getting in Boxy Lux, and if this is still, you know, the same old, same old. A lot of the stuff made in China, and I know there are some good brands that make their stuff in China, but I um, don't trust brands I don't know, and that aren't, you know, um, on people's map kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna continue with Boxy Charm because I literally think that I'll be wasting my money if I do. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Again, I'm going to wait for spoilers. But anyways, I got this. Um, so this is my lash scoop. So um, I love this subscription. I'm going to tell you why. Because you guys know the struggle that I have with lashes. And I've been struggling with lashes for years. And now that I have this contraption, look, I actually have a pair of lashes on my thing which I didn't put away, and now I don't know where they where they belong. Great job, Lisa. Where did these lashes go? <clears throat> I have one drawer now full of lashes, and I do try, like I do practice with them. Okay, so they're the Baddington lashes, okay. Um, I like to keep the containers that my lashes come in, because if not, you know, you're gonna think it's a spider on your leg, which I've done that a lot, but <clears throat> and now that I have this, and I got this on Amazon, because I find it really, really hard to put the glue on my eyes from lashes. Like, I just can't get the hang of it. Um, I do like the magnetic lashes. I found that really, really easy. The magnetic um, eyeliner thing and the magnetic lashes. I did find that really easy, and I find this really easy. And what this is is an eyeliner, but it's an eyelash adhesive eyeliner. And you're supposed to shake it like a thousand times, but I ain't got time for that. Um, and Well, you know, I'm not even ready for that. So since I've gotten this and I've been trying the magnetic ones, um, I'm getting better at lashes. And what I love about Lash Scoop is that every month I get five new pairs. And right now, what I'm struggling with lashes and trying to learn is I need to cut the ends a bit and I need to cut you know the inside corner a bit and I end up ruining some lashes I cut a little bit too much sometimes right and I like the fact that for me eventually I'll know what I'm doing like I'll be able to eyeball it and you know but I get five new pairs of lashes every month that are stunning that I get to try and if I ruin one I still got four more pairs which is fabulous Okay, so I'm gonna show you what these, these are, I mean, these are stunning. This is Royal, oh my God, beautiful. Every single one of these are gorgeous. And I picked, I think there's two different types of subscriptions you can get. And I think I got kind of like a, a neutral subscription. And then I think you got um, a glam, if you like the really big, you know, glam lashes. And I got like the neutral kind. And you get five pairs of lashes for $11.99, free shipping. I mean, seriously, $11.99 for $11.99 US for five pairs of really good eyelashes. You can't get that anywhere else. Like, you know, maybe at the dollar store, you know, but um, even if you got a pair of e.l.f. eyelashes, it's going to be five, seven dollars, right? Or the Kiss ones, you know? So this is royal. These are beautiful. These are, st I love these. These are so natural looking. Aren't they pretty? You are so beautiful. So yeah, I love this subscription now because I can practice, you know, and if I ruin one pair, I still got four more. And then when the next month comes, if I ruin maybe three pairs, I'm getting five more, you know, in a month. So, you know what I mean? 
Um, I love these. And if you love lashes and you know what you're doing, I mean, you got to get this. You can't go wrong. So this is another pair. Oh, these are beautiful too. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look, these ones are called Lady. Aren't they pretty? Oh, God. See, at first I thought I was going to wear Royal. And then I see Lady and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll, maybe, I don't know. Now I'm confused. This is called Excellence. And every month your lashes are different, right? So I'm not getting the same lashes that I got last month, which I think is great too, right? Um, oh my goodness, look at these. These are so beautiful and natural looking. Look. Oh, now I'm so confused. I don't know which ones I'm going to wear. Then I have Grace. Guys, by the way, I want to let you know that um, Ipsy's not going to do anything for us. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow night on my live. Okay, then there's these beautiful ones, Miss Grace. Oh my God, these are stunning too. I don't know which ones I'm going to wear. Oh, I like these ones. These are Honor. How do you choose? Like, I'm going to legit put on a pair of lashes in this video, but I don't know which ones to choose. These are Honor. Look at those. Oh, I love the way they're, like, separated. I might try these ones. Okay, we're going we're gonna to try Honor. Um, only because, really, they're out of the pack. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this Chummy Digger that I got on Amazon. I think it would be awesome if Tribe came out with one of these things, too. Um, a magic adhesive eyeliner and this works on all eyelashes um, even like magnetic eyelashes I'm not an eyeliner girl so bear with me here and I'm not trying to stick my eyelashes down here because that is irritating I wonder if you're supposed to have I never wear eyeliner, so for me, putting on an eyeliner is not easy. But I do like this tip. It makes it so much easier. Okay. I think that might be all right. Right? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe, baby. Make sure you close the lid. Don't let it dry out. Okay. So when I put on lashes, I always put it up in front of me. And I'm like, okay, so this eye goes to this eye. Do you do that? I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it makes sense to me. All right. These are stunning. Look how pretty they are. Oh, Lisa, don't ruin them. Don't ruin them. Okay. Okay, so they do need to be cut just a little. Winter's going mad, scratching the dar. And oh, crackers. I need to cut them. This is always a scary part for me um, because I'm always afraid I'm gonna ruin them when I cut the lashes. I'm always afraid I'm gonna ruin them. But what I like about where I have them put up here is that they're not irritating me, but I definitely gotta cut some off. Okay. I always get scared. Okay. We're doing it. We're cutting. I'm just cutting off like the last two pieces. So I cut like, can you see that? Those two off. Now we're going to try again. I think I cut them perfectly. Um, the one pair. And now I got to try to cut the other pair. Where are those chummy diggers I have? Where are you chummy diggers? Guys, where did I put it? I guess I'll just have to use this one. Okay. I know you guys are freaking out right now going, oh my goodness, the wing nuts got that way too close to her eyes. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? 
Right. Now the hard part, and for me the hard part is doing my left eye. Always a difficult part in putting on eyelashes. Um, everything on the left eye is difficult. Do you remember TLC? Wasn't there a left eye in TLC? Wasn't that her name? Left eye or something? The band. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Remember that song? I oh, love that song. Right? Left, Lisa Left Eye Lobe or something like, was that her name? Okay. Maybe, anyone else do that? Like, I'm squeezing my face here. Okay. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the... I literally have mascara on my feet. No word of a lie. Okay. Why does this look confusing to me? Okay. Oh. Right. See, it almost looks like, for me, like this end is smaller there, but nope. I, I pulled it at the case right, so. All right. Am I filming? Yes. Okay. So. Like, I just stuck on beautifully, but I do have to cut the bottom. always and I'm just gonna cut like same as the other one like the last two threads kind of thing and she was I thought for a second that I had eyelash already on and it's my mess is my own eyelashes literally I was like wait I already got an eyelash on here oh what the hell I can't win Right. This eye is so hard to... Wait, did you go on... Oh my God, I think I cut the wrong end. Nope, it goes on that way, right? Why does that have to be so confused? It's like I don't... I don't know if I got it... Inside out? Do I have this lash inside out? Like, how can you get a lash inside out? Right. This is very comfortable. One of the reasons why I find I can't wear lashes for a long time, I always find that they would stick here in my corners or at the end, but that's because I didn't cut them. Um, and I thought you were only supposed to cut. The corners but then I was told no if you need to you can cut the the end part or the front part right so these are my tribe lashes and name to honor in honor of Farrah Fawcett. I don't know what I'm saying. Because I always think lashes in 70s people, but look how pretty they are. And did you see how easy that was for me to put on? And they're not doing that uncomfortable thing where I'd find other lashes that would stick and dig in. And that's because I got smart and I cut them. And I think I did a good job. And that's practice. And do you know how I practiced? I practiced because I was getting beautiful lashes every month and I was able to practice. And now look at me. I'm a lash queen, okay? I did it, everybody. It only took me three years, 875 days, and a couple of hours, but I did it. I am now a lash queen. Look, I did it. And this is why you need lash scoop too, because if you wanna learn how to put on lashes, like really, like I've been dying to for the last three years, girl, hook yourself up with some lash scoop and practice. Great lashes. They're very cheap. I mean, come on. Five pairs of lashes for $11.99. And practice. And I love that liner thing. It's so easy. 
no glue, no mess, just lashes. I look like I'm 25. Not really. I still got the crow's feet. I mean, they're not covering the crow's feet, but anyway. Anyway, everybody, I'm so excited. That was so, that was like literally so easy and I did it. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, I will be live Friday night this week, tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time at 8 o'clock. Um, yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. Like, what are we going to do about Ipsy? Okay, don't forget to like my video. Tell me how your day is going, and I'll see you tomorrow.